Hi guys, this is the CF Project on behalf of CQB Radio. Carp was nice enough to let me have at this review for these two chargers in front of me. Um, both of them are $29 at Airsoft Fix. Go head over there, um, check them out online, airsoftfix.com. Kyle is the owner there. I worked with him before. A uh, great guy. He's fun to talk to, knows a lot. Very competent person to buy from, uh, which I really enjoy um, our phone calls whenever we get to have them. Anyway, Aside from that, um, like I said, $29 each. If you buy from Airsoft Fix, um, you if you pay for $30 worth of stuff, you get free shipping, which is pretty cool because it comes from Alaska, which means it'll get here pretty fast because pretty much everything's airmail from over there. Uh, and if you don't pay the extra dollar on top of this to get the free shipping, it's only $5 to ship. So it's just a flat rate and a very, very um, minimal confusion from that store, which I enjoy. So anyway, now to the main point here. I have two chargers in front of me. This is a smart charger for nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride, and one here for uh, lithium polymer or lipo and lithium ion. Now uh, I'll start with the smart charger right here. Like I said, it's $29. I really like this one uh, because it's so simple. You have your power, your charging plug, and one button on the whole thing. So pretty much what you do is you plug in your battery and then, well first you plug it into the wall. Power turns on, you plug the battery in, it starts charging. Now it charges at 1.5 amps, so it's a decent charge rate, but if you want to speed it up a little bit, you just hit the start button once and then this light will kick on and you will be set on the fast charge rate. Now uh, how often you do that and when you do that for what batteries, that's up to you. Um, but I like a slow charge, that's what I would use. Now the cool thing is, you can see here there's these two holes and uh, this originally comes on like that. Now if you have strong thumbs and a fourth finger here, you can depress and pop this out. Now that's pretty neat because it includes this interchangeable uh, outlet plug here. This is the US version, um, so you just pop that on and clip it in and now you can plug it into your wall. Now. From what I'm reading, they also provide different covers, though this is the only one that came with the one I received. Now this does uh, six to eight cell batteries, which means you can get down to the uh, 6.2 volt batteries, 7.4 volt batteries, and all the way up to uh, 9.6 volt batteries. So it gives you the six, seven, or eight cell option um, moving forward. So that's pretty cool. Uh, especially since a lot of airsofters we use 8.4 and 9.6 uh, it'll do that for you no problem it also has a lot of safety features so that once your battery is fully charged it'll just go into a trickle charge uh, which is nice so you don't overheat your batteries and uh, even though you should unplug them as soon as they're done this gives you a little bit of cushion so that you're not just pumping in electricity to it and even when it's full now it comes uh, a connector here is mini to my which is pretty much standard for most airsoft stuff, but if perchance you need the large type connector here, it has the adapter for you. Um, I won't try to put that on because I'm trying to do it on camera, but uh, so that's included as well. So that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, it does have uh, chip protect and all that. It's very, they advertise it as stable and uh, I think it's simple enough, but it does everything that you need. Now, uh, it also comes with a 12-month warranty from BOL, Battery Option Limited, uh, which is also neat. It's a very sturdy build. It's a solid thing, not one of those things you plug into the wall and you feel like it's hollow on the inside. So, uh, not really always important for that, but I do like, I feel like the electronics in here are substantial. Now, I'll move that to the side here, and I'll pull this one for. This is the LiPo Charger Lithium Ion. Same basic layout, same interchangeable plugs on the side. If I wanted to steal this one off of the smart charger, I could put it on the LiPo charger as well. Same way to disconnect it and everything. Um, on this side, we have the three cell charger and the two cells. And so that leads me to the next point that it does charge two and three cells. So it does do your 7.4 volt, two uh, S LiPos and three S LiPos, the 11.1 volt. Uh, which is pretty neat. So and then on the side here you can see one cell, two cell, three cell. Um, the thing about this one that interested me is there's no buttons on it whatsoever. It's pretty much plug and play. So I have this 
two cell right here and I'll plug it in. Now, as you saw before, it was flashing zero BOL. That means there's nothing on it. Now you can see this cycling on the LED display. It's pretty cool. It's got the three different um, number sections or letters, whatever you want to call it. But it, it's very bright, easy to see, and it lets you know more information than you could possibly need to know. Um, I guess it could be described as intense if you really care about all the voltages on your battery. So if you want to know what's going on inside here, just take a look at the screen. It tells you the number of cells that you have, which you should know before you plug in, but it'll tell you. Um, it'll tell you the voltage of each cell. It'll tell you the voltage of all the cells combined. And then it'll take the highest voltage and the lowest voltage of each of the respective cells and take the difference of them and tell you how big of a difference in between each of the cells that there are, which is good because then you know you're getting the most smooth charge and the most complete charge in the end. When these turn green, it lets you know that they're fully charged and they're ready to go. It should say pretty much it'll be one, two, it'll say one dash two in here in a second, high low one dash two. It should say that there's pretty much a zero charge or zero voltage difference rather, which means that it is completely balanced and ready to use. Now, both of these chargers can be used for other applications besides Airsoft, um, but that's what they're geared for. That's what Airsoft Fix is uh, selling them for, which I really enjoy them. I've used several different LiPo chargers before and some of the non-smart charger versions of the nickel metal hydrides before, and these far surpass it. I'm very impressed uh, with BOL's chargers. Everything just feels solid, like I said earlier, including uh, that includes the LiPo charger. So if you're looking for something, no matter what type of battery you have, um, even if you wanted to put this towards an RC application, I think it would work great. Um, so like I said, they're simple, they work well, they're solid. I don't foresee me needing to get another uh, charger anytime soon. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed to CTB Radio already, go ahead and do that. If you want to find me at my channel, The CF Project, um, I have a channel as well. Also check out um, Kyle's website, airsoftfix.com. And uh, special thanks to CARP for letting me do this video. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.